What are some of the natural ways you can treat ADHD without okay. medicine? Okay. Um, first of all, as we talked about before, invariably uh, the kid is not getting enough sleep. ADHD kids tend to be more wound up. Uh, a lot of them, when they come off their medications at night, have a, a boomerang effect and they get more stimulated. So we have to try, one of the first things we always do is try to get the sleep uh, cycle, understand how the kid's sleeping, and somehow try to bring some order to that. Sometimes they can even change the dosages of the medication earlier into, earlier into the day so the child's not up at night. Um, secondly, we, again, I'm very big on what I tell the parents is use the kid's energy constructively. So I tell them, play, play games like Simon says, even make tasks for them to do. Keep them active, keep them in activities, keep them on, in sports teams, keep them in anything at all and you, you can do. you can teach them to learn to focus too, right? Well, that's called track the teacher, as we've talked about. Uh, the biggest problem with the kids, that, from what I hear from the teachers, is that these kids are always, again, and this is the interesting thing that I, uh, they're looking for stimulation. And that's not how the teachers and parents experience it. They experience that the kid doesn't pay attention. He doesn't care. What's happening is the kid is looking for stimulation. So you can see many of the kids with ADHD really could improve if they kept themselves and occupy things they like? Yes, yes. When they're, when in fact, as we know, when they like something, they can enjoy it tremendously and their attention and focus will increase tremendously for that specific activity. So a teacher who can recognize the situation and create a positive situation for the child to be focused on could do more than all the medicine we can write for. Is that correct? Unfortunately, I have to say yes with that because to go back to an earlier conversation with all the medications that are being given, there isn't so much real clinical evidence that it's helping these kids. Now, again, the drug study, the companies that do the drug studies, they always get tremendous results. The attention span, the focus, everything's much better. But I deal with the teachers and the parents, and these are kids on these medications, and some of them for at least a year or two. And yeah, there's some improvement, don't get me wrong, and there is some uses for these medications, but not to the degree that the drug companies would have you believe, because that's why my practice is loaded with kids who have ADHD and are on ADHD medications. If those medications were really the answer, why would these kids be finding their way to my office?